Congratulations if you've made some money off of SoFi today. The stock ran a whopping 20% off of some fantastic earnings. They hit it out of the park. And if you have not seen the article, there's one on TradingView right here that says that the fintech company achieved profitability for the first time since its IPO in 2021. They reported $48 million of net income in Q4, far surpassing analysts' average estimate of $9.9 million, and with adjusted net revenue clocking in at $594.2 million. And those averages, uh, they beat the estimate by more than $20 million. That is fantastic. I did make a trade recently, and obviously I'm not, a, not up 20%, but I do have some shares in the $6 level that I have not sold out, and I will do that probably when the stock hits the $11 mark, right around there. Fingers crossed. But when I talked about this stock last night on Sunday, today is Monday, it was at $7.62. We gapped up because of the earnings report. So this gap that I had talked about closed out this morning. Oops. Let me try that again. So this is done. That is done. I went over this stock in my gap and go trades and the gap recap video as well because I've been tracking this one for weeks now. So we ended right here. Your next target for Tuesday at two standard deviations is roughly 974. The middle of the trend takes you back down to 884. And right here at negative two standard deviations where I will anticipate a bounce should we get to this level would be at $7.97. Now the other stock that I wanna go over for you, oh, wait a minute, before I do, I wanna show you what the next target is. So all of these gaps, looking left, closed. So the next gap, actually I shouldn't say all of them closed, down here closed. This one started to close, but we're not quite there yet. That will take us to $9.62. The next one is $9.94. I've tracked these in the past and they are still open. So that one will take us to 1129. We are not in the channel, not in the zone, but something to be aware of, aware of. So now the next one I want to go over is Google. So we ended the day at 153.51, up more than a half a percent there. So to the north side, takes us to 154.83, back to the middle of the trend and support where I anticipate a bounce, 153.21 to the south side, 151.60, and there's a gap that begins, let me turn off my magnet, 149.52, it starts, closes out there, and then this one, closes to the downside at roughly 147.16. We are not in the channel, not in the zone. We are still in an upward channel, so that's good. But this is something to be aware of to the downside. Note the sell-off here at resistance, basically at three standard deviations. I took that off just so that I can get through these videos quicker, just giving you negative two and two standard deviations in that window. So support, a bounce. Obviously, there are many levels in between there, and I'll show you that in just a moment. Let's go to Amazon. We ended the day at 161.26. To the north side, 161.84. Move that over just a tad. Support and a potential buy-in area, 160.43, and also another buy-in area, 159.02, and then this would also be a uh, buy-in area at a different level of support. We are not in that channel, but something to be aware of. Note the sell-off at resistance, bounce here at support, bounce here at support, sell-off at resistance, sell-off at resistance. 
The next one is Tesla. This one has been a wreck, but we are up a little bit today, so everyone is ecstatic here. All right. This is where we ended to the north side. One target would be 196.20. Another target at a different level of resistance would be at 207.42. That gap begins at 192.93. I definitely think we will touch it on Tuesday. Now to the south side at support and a potential buy-in area, 179.66. And to the downside, 162.68. We are still in a downward channel in in the bigger picture here. Obviously, if you go out to the daily, weekly, and monthly, you're gonna get different buy and sell signals. All right, these gaps are still in play to the downside. The, these are landmines to be aware of that will implode your account if you're not careful. The next one is Apple. We closed this gap today at 191.64. And I was tracking that in a previous video that took us down to 191.59 roughly. See, there was a gap up here too that went down. So that closed out as well. And this one closed to the upside. All right, target, target levels now. We are still in a downward channel, unfortunately. 191.73 is where we're at. So to the north side, 192.27, resistance and potential take profit area. Of course it could go higher, but I'm just gonna give you that level, 190.81, 189.39. Note the buy-in at support there, sell-off at resistance, resistance close enough to support, resistance going sideways, barcoding, support down there. All right, Microsoft, you can see that we are at resistance and could we make another leg up? Yes, but I think we'll definitely go down to go back up again. What's the one year price target now? 129.73. Okay, I do own a lot of Microsoft as well and Apple. So I no longer trade that. All right, to the north side. I don't know, if you turn on three and four standard, let's just say roughly 411, next target up. Now to the south side, we could grind though along here, grind, pop up, and then go up and then back down. And if we go down, once we go up, this turns into support, the next level support, and then support. So to the south side, at the middle of the trend, 406.89, support, potential buy-in area, and possibly here as well at 404.04. That's pretty funny. And this gap starts at 40105, not in the zone, not in the channel, something to be aware of. Note the sell-off, clear sell-off near resistance, buy in here at support, resistance, resistance. And finally, NVIDIA. All right. 624.65. We are at resistance. I will anticipate a little bit of a sell off as we are at resistance and then a possible leg up. Yes, but we are in a downward channel. So people will be taking their profits, locking them in, and leaving. All right. So down here would be 622.70 from where we are up here. This turns into support and then possibly a bounce. And then I think we'll make our way down and follow this line. And then possibly here or even here.
but to the middle of the trend, one target area, 614.07, and another one at 605.33. Looking left from down here, this is resistance, sell-off, resistance, sell-off, support, going up there and we had a gap up and that means it filled down so it filled right there okay so i know that price is going to make its way back down and will it go up yep could it go down sure it could both directions and resistance along here support buy in support buy in support buy in this turns into resistance didn't quite make all the way there fell back down again now we're back at resistance all right that does it for me Thank you so much for watching.